Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. Looking at a beautiful, beautiful evening out here in Bismarck. There's Century. There's 83. 63 degrees right now here in the Bismarck Mandan area and winds have started to calm down as well. It definitely has been blustery out there. We have a wind out of the north northwest at seven miles per hour, taking you out to the northwest part of the state now in Williston. You're looking at a temperature of 62 degrees with calm winds here. Just a uh, great day really across the state. Uh, 58 in Minot, so a little cooler off towards the northeast. It's uh, 63 as we saw there in Bismarck. Hedinger 61, 60 in Garrison. Little cooler back to the northeast. This is what we were expecting. 55 in Rugby, 54 in Rolla, 55 Harvey. Uh, Minot, you actually did sneak into the 60s earlier. Uh, you actually got a little bit of that warm air. Uh, 57 up towards the border there in Crosby. As we look at your winds, and again, they have been some stout winds from the northwest through the day. Uh, starting to calm down, though. Uh, right now, they're in Dickinson, 14. Uh, Wilson actually reporting a northwest wind there at 13 miles per hour. Not sure if that just hasn't updated yet. Minot Northwest at 7. Uh, rain, a storm system back off towards our east. You can see it pushing on in towards Minnesota. In fact, Fargo looking kind of like a cool, rainy day there, but our Part of the state, western two thirds of North Dakota looking sunny and well, yeah, it's been pretty warm. All right, so yesterday we talked about this upper level system in the Gulf of Alaska that will affect us uh, coming up later next week into the Halloween time frame. But we're going to look at something that's going to affect us a little bit closer to the future. Uh, here's the jet stream and you can see it creates this little uh, ridge across the western part of the country. Uh, the jet stream then is directed from the northwest into North Dakota and that's what creates these systems called Alberta Clippers because the jet stream is well oriented from Alberta. As we zoom on into the surface, a low pressure system at the surface is going to move in from, well, Alberta in towards western North Dakota. I know Tom talked a little bit about this in the last hour as well, uh, but by Saturday evening, we're going to be looking at a good deal of rain across the, uh, well, central part of the state. Back towards the southwest, Hedinger, Bowman areas, you might miss out on some of the precipitation, but Minot, Williston, Bismarck, and all points in between. Good chance we're going to see some rain there on Saturday evening, and it will be cooler as well. Now, the good thing about those Alberta Clippers is as they zip along the jet stream, it'll be out of here quickly, which will mean for the second half of the weekend, we will see quite a bit of sunshine out there, and those temperatures will rebound nicely. Now, there is another system right on its heels as the weather pattern becomes more active. That jet stream will start to park itself over us. And yeah, here's the uh, Climate Prediction Center's 6 to 10 day outlook. So that'll be much of next week. Looking cooler than average, although we're just kind of skirting the uh, line here. This is about a 40% chance for us to actually be below average in terms of temperatures going into next week. So keep that in mind. All right, so today into tonight, we'll get down to 35 degrees, but winds will be calm out there and it'll be cool. And tomorrow morning's lows, we're looking at temperatures falling pretty much across the entire viewing area into the mid 30s. Your day tomorrow, 62 degrees. Enjoy it. That breeze will pick up again from the northwest. This will be our warmest day in the near future. Highs tomorrow, looking at 60s across the board. A few upper 50s, I should say, actually, back up towards the northeast. But 59, 62, eh, it's not that big of a difference. There's your seven-day. Temperatures will start to tumble down. First with that system from Alberta on Saturday, giving us that rain. Uh, Sunday will be sunny, but temperatures will be a little cooler. And then we start that downward trend. Uh, the big upper level trough coming, a big dip in the jet stream by next week is going to give us some cooler, unsettled weather, we'll call it. And I do see a little bit of a chance of some snow mixing in by the middle to end of next week. Oh. I know, I know, yeah. but we are starting to get into November now, yeah. so it's kind of inevitable. Yeah, it was nice while well, it lasted. Yeah. Keep it here. Coming up next is